Good morning, everyone. Yesterday was a great day as we had the pleasure to receive so many visitors from all over the world. Today, we stop off at the Defence Aerospace Area. Dajini, could you tell us why our solutions are even more important in today's climate? Good morning, TJ. With the return of high-intensity conflicts, the armed forces will have to operate in increasingly contested environments and rely on our air combat systems. With the ability to combine, coordinate the actions of sensors, effectors, and command and control systems in real time. We start today with a detection area. TALUS sensors cover the entire spectrum of electromagnetic and optical frequencies, detecting all types of threats, ground, aquatic, aerial, spatial. They can detect hypersonic missiles and slow objects, as low as radar cross-section targets, like small drones, stealth fighters. This technology uses artificial intelligence to instantly provide the best possible picture of the tactical situation. Several of our radar systems are on display in the outside area, including the Groundmaster 200, a tactical radar to protect units on the ground, and the Ground Observer 20 multi-mission portable radar for continuous 360 detection of all targets. Moving on to the command and control systems area, our C2 systems can process a huge amount of data from connected sensors and other sources to provide a reliable and timely analysis of the tactical situations. Our C2 systems provide decision support, helping users to optimize planning and tasking, for example, choosing the best effectors to take out a given target. Speaking of effectors, TALUS offers a broad range of, to counter every type of threat, including weapons, energy weapons, jammers, guided rockets, guns and missiles. We have also developed laser and electromagnetic guidance systems to make these weapons more precise. You can also find here short and medium range air defense systems and our counter UAV or drone systems. Now let's go over to our integrated air defense systems designed for multi-layer defense in a variety of situations. Next, we look at collaborative combat. We have our connectivity solutions and collaborative services that make for greater agility, sharing information in real time, instantly reconfigurating a force's assets and acting smarter and faster in a combat situation. After that, we move on to resilience and force readiness and in-service support. We intend to increase the resilience and survivability of the fighting system, even in degraded environments called by cyber operations or jamming. This area features AirGuard, a self-protection system that detects threats, issues warnings, and provides protection from missiles, rockets, and even light infantry weapons. Finally, the force readiness area will share our simulation and training solutions to prepare armed forces personnel for high intensity combat situations. Also highlighting our in-service support solutions designed to maximize equipment availability. Thank you so much Virginie and make sure you stay with us as tomorrow we launch into space.